So I did promise at the end of the video a few tips that nobody knows, or rather are not explained in the tutorial. Wait, was that it, Claw? Well, yes and no, even though it seems minor. Favoriting your item will make it so you cannot accidentally transfer it. That brings me to the next useful thing about the user interface. Transfer all and loot all buttons. These buttons are useful if you need to transfer the loot, and with the items marked as favorite, you can easily move your newly acquired loot to your preferred place without accidentally moving the can opener you like so much. The game will move all the items for you. If you want to loot all the items from the object that you opened, you can click loot all button and it will transfer all items into your current opened inventory slot. The next thing you can do is selecting multiple items. By holding control you can select multiple options and with shift you can select all items between the two items you click. With control plus A you can select all items in the inventory. Be careful though. If you are in inventory of your character, it will select even items that you are wearing. When you selected all your preferred items, you can move them between storages by dragging them to the icons on the side of the window. Next tip I have for you is that you can sort by weight, ascending or descending. Pretty self-explanatory, however, not many people notice that button. You can also resize the window by dragging the corner. The next buttons can expand or collapse all of the item stacks. You can sort the items by type or category. Next we have the belt. Every player starts with one. You can put most tools except guns on the belt and access them faster using the numbers showed on the UI. Even though you can't put guns on your belt, you can get a holster or double holster that adds fast access to handguns. Also, with two-handed weapons, guns and tools, you can attach these to your back. That's all for moving items, now onto the crafting menu. The crafting menu can use resources around you, however, with certain recipes it will not update automatically. So even though you have enough resources for soup for example, it will show that you cannot make soup and vice versa. This is easily fixable by reopening the crafting menu. The next tip I have for you is the moving furniture option. Most of the things you find in world, like chairs, TVs and tables, can be picked up and moved elsewhere. Some of the things require skills and tools. That was it for this video, thank you so much for watching, take care and see you next time.